Hello and welcome to That Guy That Talks About Tecla. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to colorize the GA the way you want to. But before we go into the drawing space, let's talk about some filtering. So when in the model, if you double click anywhere in the background, under the visible object group, you can see if you're in the UK environment that you have lots of preset filters already in there. If you're not in the UK environment, then no worry. You can just create your own. So let's just click on object group first and create a filter for the elements in my model. What I have in my model now is simply a ground floor structure that has columns, primary beams, secondary beams, and I've just put in a timber flooring. I've named my columns posts, my main beams, main beams, and my secondary beams, called roll profiles, I've named them secondary beams, right? Now, as finely as you can manage your model and set up filters from the beginning in order for you to have an easy life in the drawing space. Right, so I'm going to speed up the video now while I create my filters that we're going to later use in the drawing space. Now, let's just create a 3D drawing from this perspective view. I'm just going to open the drawing straight away and this is the default settings that are applied to this drawing. So nothing customized, this is the out of the box default setting. Now, going back to my previous video, talking about the uh, order or the, the levels in the um, in the drawing space, I'm just going to click on the highest level now, which would be the drawing uh, settings. Double click on the background and under settings, there's this tick box that's been um, clicked by default that says use detailed object level settings. In here, you can set your colors on your specific model objects. Now, you've seen me previously um, detailing or defining those those filters in the model you've seen me clicking those uh, arrows and I've made this um, I've, I've made those filters as object representation filters as well so if we add a row now and we go to model object drawing filter in this list here we should be able to see our pre our previously created filters for example name secondary beam name posts and name main beam. So let's say I want to um, have this filter applied to drawing name posts. So these are the model objects. They are parts. They're not rebar or bolts or welds. They are parts. And the settings used, we have a choice of predefined settings here. So for the moment, let's just pick steel red and then hit modify. So as you can see, the filter that we've done in the model is now being colorized as you want. Now let's do another one. Let's do the main beams and let's make them green. Okay, so that comes as green. And finally, let's make the secondary beams Let's make them blue. Right, so as you can see, nothing happens. We need to define how these objects are being uh, shown. For example, you can see straight away that absolutely no hidden parts or no hidden lines are in the view. And that takes you straight away to the simple questions. Where are these settings being defined? Still red, still green, still blue, and whatever is in this drop down list. Well, these settings are defined at the part level. 
So that will be the lowest um, hierarchic level in a drawing, but as we've discussed, that would be the most superseding. So if you click apart now, for example, this column here, you can see straight away that it's got absolutely no settings. So anything that you model or modify here at the part level cannot be superseded by the general arrangement drawing properties. So I would suggest, again, do not go into this level unless you've got particularities or exceptions. Now, going back to the general arrangement drawing properties, under objects, under parts, we can see the general settings for parts. And now if we drop down these settings, we can see all the predefined colors and, and, um, and namings well, the, that we saw in the previous object representations. If you want to create your own, um, your own settings, this is where you would come to. So general arrangement drawing properties, objects, part, and then say we want to load um, the steel blue, which was um, the settings that we, we've applied for our secondary beams. Once you load steel blue, you can see straight away how it's being defined. Appearance, fill, and then content. And then we see straight away that all the hidden lines are off. And now let's just modify that. Let's just save and then go to appearance and for hidden lines, center lines, I would just want to make them the same color blue and I'll choose hidden from here. Okay. Save. Obviously I've done a mistake here, overwriting the, um, the system settings. So for the sake of this exercise, I would just say blue. plus hidden. So I'll just save these like that. Okay. So straight away, you see how the secondary beams, which um, had that um, settings in the object representations started to appear. Now, going back to, to, the, to the settings here, obviously, uh, it works now because I've over I've overwritten the um, system file. But now you can just come in here and select your um, blue plus hidden style, and then just hit modify. Let's repeat this exercise um, and create a new filter or a new a, a new uh, appearance settings for the main beam starting off from the steel green and then not overwriting the system but creating a new one so double click let's go to part and starting from steel um steel green loading it i'll just say hidden lines but then i want all the hidden lines to be green, uh, sorry, black, and then the type of the line should be hidden. So not saving this, I'm just gonna create a new one, green plus hidden. So I'll just save this as, I'll just modify. Okay. And now going back to edit settings, I can simply come in here to see the main beam as green plus hidden, hit modify, and there you have it. You have all the visible lines with green and all the hidden lines with black. And moving on from here, you can define your own settings. Now that you've got everything saved in here, you can either save as the level settings for general arrangement drawings, or you can save as the general arrangement drawing properties as a whole. And what you can do is put it in your firm folder and use it over and over again. If you'd like to know more tricks or more tips about Tecla structures or simply the way 
I do things in Tecla Structures, don't hesitate to comment, drop me a line, or do basically anything to get in touch. Until next time, bye-bye.